So we're fortunate at NPS to have the Center for Cyber Warfare here. And as a, the director of the center, it's my job to engage faculty and students in working on problems that have real DOD relevance to protection of information and infrastructure in cyberspace. And because it's the study of warfare, how we as a military and as a nation might uh, attack or dislodge things that matter to other people that, that are stored in cyberspace. Cyberspace and the things that we value physically are stored all over the globe and we conduct worldwide operations as a Navy. And so we need a way to quickly come into a theater and the way we can identify and create a target set for things in the physical world, we need the expertise and the understanding of what the infrastructure looks like in cyberspace in order to be able to provide an operational commander with a target set for cyber effects so he can make operational trade-offs of what might be the best way to achieve his military objective. The bulk of cyber, you know, we're talking enterprise cyber, really is scripted. It's all about getting it done before your adversary does. I need to have it programmed in. The intelligence needs to be in my system to make the decisions before my adversary can act, okay? Because once the cyber war happens, we, we, we're only going to be able to stand back and watch, okay? It, it, it's all going to be scripted. It's, it's going to be over before we even know what happened, you know. So we need to have our ducks in a line before it even starts. And that's why engineering, computer science are so important in this, because those are the guys that are going to implement that future cyber war before it happens. The great thing about our students is they're passionate about what they do, and they come here with an idea, and they, they grab on it and they drive it to a solution, and Tom has certainly done that. He really views the network as a control system, as, as an OODA loop, if you want. You know, observe, orient, you know, decide, and act. And he is saying, how am I gonna observe and orient my approach to the network so I can make a decision and act upon, say, somebody attacking my network. And I think he's done an absolute wonderful job. By applying control at yeah. specific points, I can uh, reduce problems elsewhere. Yeah, kind of break it apart into components and things like that. I'm working on an idea that you can find out the health and status of the network um, and quickly identify hotspots, hotspots of congestion, hotspots that are being attacked. Um, and the real goal of all of that is to automate the process. Uh, we can't have a system administrator in the loop trying to figure out, has the attack started? Where are they attacking? What is happening? I need the network to defend itself. The, the idea of software-defined networking and being able to centralize some of the control of the network is uh, what's allowing us to automate some of these processes. I'm going to 10th Fleet to uh, work on research and development problems. Um, that's, a, that's a really exciting thing for me. Uh, EDOs uh, don't get to go to 10th Fleet very often. Um, I'm bringing my acquisition experience, I'm bringing my shipboard experience, my, um, my understanding of NAVC and Spay War to 10th Fleet to help integrate my background as an EDO into the background of an information warfare officer. I think combining those two can be really powerful in a research and development mode. Being a PhD and having to do research on my own um, is really helpful because I understand what it takes to come up with a new idea, push it through, and actually demonstrate it. That's really helpful when you go back to a larger R&D office. Here in the CCW, we're very proud that our graduates that have worked on problems and research topics through the CCW have ascended to uh, high levels of command in cyber preparation, as well as working to train the next generation of cyber warriors. Many of our graduates are going back to the U.S. Naval Academy to teach the cybersecurity courses and the cyber operations courses that are being stood up there, whereas on the other end of the spectrum, uh, we're very proud that Vice Admiral Jan Tai, the commander of the Navy's 10th Fleet and uh, Navy Cybercom, is a graduate of the EC department. So we're able to uh, bring projects on board the campus, allow students to have a tangible impact on the technology and the operational ideas uh, of how to defend and attack cyberspace, and then take that knowledge out with them to the broader Navy uh, to service as we move into a new domain. Places like Stanford, MIT, there are 
you know, trying out these crazy innovative approaches because that's really what research needs is a, you know, some kind of really unusual type of approach to these things. You know, we want to do transformational research and what NPS brings is the fact that we know what's out there right now. So we can compare what we do right now with the crazy stuff that Stanford and MIT and Illinois are doing. Cyberspace is truly an interdisciplinary problem here on campus. Um, there's an engineering approach that deals with the infrastructure that exists to make cyberspace. But the applications that are more tied to computer science that function on top of that infrastructure allow us to collaborate across lines of demarcation on campus. Additionally, when we think about strategy and policy and what might be an operational target in cyberspace, our partners in defense analysis, international graduate studies, this center allows us to bring people from across campus together to come up with interdisciplinary solutions. Looking forward, it's important for the center to take the insight that we've gained in a decade of study of, at the national level, to find ways to put tools in the toolkit at the operational level for Navy forces going forward so that we can provide the CEO of a ship, the Commodore of a squadron, and the uh, battle group commander with real tools that affect the situation at sea and on the ground where they might find themselves needing to employ cyber effects to achieve their military objectives.